Hey, Mama, look, it's like something what you could put some piece of wood in. Yeah. Okay, so right now, this is, um, uh, what do you call this from a cabinet making shop? Alder. Alder, right, but the way that it's cut. Is it just trimmings? Scrap pieces. Garth. Okay, scrap pieces, trimmings from a local cabinet making shop. And it was, it was stacked up to about here with the ends with the, uh, uh, what's it called? Closing pieces of wood on the end. Tailgate. Tailgate. The, the nice guy at the cabinet shop made me a makeshift tailgate when I went to go pick it up. And um, Mr. Dirt takes this and cuts it later in the winter um, to make kindling that's small enough to go in. And he uses the miter saw. For now, wow. I'm sorting things so that they're more manageable because if I tried to stick all of that in this, which is how we stack it, then it would be very lopsided and hard to work with later. So this, we're also using uh, flower pots because they have good drainage in the bottom. And the kids can just bring in kindling. Honey, we got plenty We've of pots. three weeks of rain, so everything's saturated and look, wet. Yeah, look, it's like a fire. And so, um, Paige, could you please get off the wood pile? Yeah. Thank no, you. Oh, um, in the future, I would just take buckets with me to put the really small pieces into because it's made it a little hard for me to unload it. If, if you don't get them exactly parallel, it takes up a lot more space to get them um, in this spot. And they will get rained and snowed on and everything, but once they're cut, we can just put them into smaller containers and put them inside the shed.